guys it's your girl kismat aka back to alico cheek and you're welcome to my channel once again so today i'll be reviewing mr dominic's latest film la femme angela now la femme angela is currently showing in nigerian cinemas and well a lot of people have been sit talking gisting about this film because it's actually kind of like a big deal you know <laughs> not just because it has mr dominic as lead actress you know playing angela you know but also because this is not your regular Nollywood flick. No, it's not. I promise you. It's, well, it's a psychological thriller noir because it uses the noir genre of filmmaking. So there's this dark, darkness, darkness to it. You need to see the film to know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've seen the film, you understand what I'm, you know, gisting you about. I do I actually do not want to let the cat out of the bag yet. So there's actually really not, no cats to be let out of the bag because the film has been showing for a couple of weeks now so a lot of people have seen this film so yeah let me stop playing <laughs> so this story actually follows um or well, this film follows the story of Dejari, who's a young stockbroker he falls in love with the femme fatale angela who happens to be the wife of a wealthy gangster yeah that's the story so from this story alone you know that this film is an OG BG, 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 BG kind of film. <laughs> so, like I said, Richard Dominic, um, Nonso Bassi, Sean Farqua, Femi Jacobs, Ego Boyo. It's just, it's, it's a stellar cast. This film is, everything about this film is Senge Menge, honestly. Life of Mandela is in a class of its own. <laughs> Let's see the trailer. <laughs> See, before all this Wahala, I was a young nigga, big boy, dabbling in the pool of power. Benji. Benji. Whoa! And that thing is a movie! Yes! 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 It's still running around with this guy. <laughs> uh, beautiful and very patient. Yeah, we well, <laughs> better still. Oh, so nice. There's this joint called the basement, uh, advertising for saxophones. Are you having sex with Angela Kahn? Of course not. She's married to the boss. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come on, I, I just play sax here. You're not playing sax. You're playing sex. S. E. X. You are the one banging my wife. Yep, so that's La Femme Angela. What do I think? I'm going to make this as quick as possible. I don't no long thing no long thing <laughs> so first off um i liked the story which was actually written by tuli babalola who wrote the story the um this film kolea for lions october 1st which is actually still dates one of my favorite movies from kolea for lion and also one of my favorite nollywood films ever i really really love that film october 1st is so close to my heart like i really fell in love with that film okay let's stop talking about october first because we are here for la femme angela okay so um the story was really really good the story is good it's actually very very good and it progresses well the suspense well they did that well they were able to carry us along and you know the guessing game was on we didn't really know what was going to happen up until the last few things we didn't even know some vital information like that's how you know the progression went i i, I the progression went well and i think the story um well it was fantastic only that there's there's just one ah, there's one there's one kokoroki kiri abi to be or something i mean i don't know how they say but really okay so <laughs> let's get to the review i like the story like i said Ah, costuming was so cool. It was done by Yolanda Okereke, who happens to be one of the best Nigerian stylists that I know of. Yeah, so I, I wasn't even expecting less. 
um, directing was spectacular. It was superb. It was, you know, Mildred Oko is one of the people that we respect in Nollywood. One of the people that when you mention her name in a room, you know that you mention her name side to side with excellence. If you've seen the meeting, which, which um, she actually directed and, you know, walked alongside with Dominic Dominique on, it was also a banger. The meeting was a banger. So La Femme Angela is another banger. And you, I feel this one is going to get a couple of awards. All the stars in it will pick up one or two awards. That's what I think. Um, so I had, I actually had no issues with um, directing. For me, I think the actors were just the ones that really, 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 really did so well. Now, so Bassi was my favorite. He did so well with this role. As Dejari, I could feel his pain. As you know, when he was falling in love with Richard Dominic, uh, Richard Dominic's character, Angela, you could feel it as it kept falling deeper and deeper. And then when he got to the point where he found out that he had been played, that, you know, he had been conned <laughs> by the bad B herself, Angela, you know, it was also very obvious. You could, you could feel that, you could feel the disappointment, you could feel the, the bitterness, the, the, it was just there. You could feel him, you could feel his pain. So, um, Nanso Bassi was my favorite. Peter Dominic was also very good as Angela. Up until now, I still can't think of any Nigerian actress that would have done it the way Rita Dominic did it. Honestly, that's what I think. I know I'm a fan of Rita Dominic, but she really did well. It was just a few things that I think, you know, she didn't really nail like that. But all in all, she, she did well. She was fantastic as Angela. Like, I can't think of any other person playing Angela. So, um that's basically what i think about the actors they actually i think you know it was so believable the story was believable because the actors did so well on this channel i always 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 talk about the actors you could have everything you could have great cinematography story director and everything if the actors are not good if they don't make the film as believable as they should the film is actually not a film <laughs> You know, it can just be anything, but not a film that, you know, I would recommend or people would recommend. So, La Femme Angela is one of the best films out of Nollywood this year. Take that from me. We'll see, I've seen a lot of films this year, even though it's still April. This is arguably the best film I've seen out of Nollywood this year. Take it from me. So, um, what else did I like about La Femme Angela? Well, what's not to love, except for the fact that... Um, there was a big letdown. The last few scenes of La Femme Angela was really a letdown because if you, you know, if you had, if you're watching such a fine film and uh, you, you would expect it to end in such a fantastic way. It's not like it ended in a rubbish way, no. But the last few scenes felt like they were rushed or you begin to ask yourself, but is it not the same film that I've been watching? It's not the same crew. What's happening to this story? The, 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 the point where they brought the South Africa trip, from that point on, it just felt somehow, I don't know. It just didn't gel. <laughs> if you've seen anyone who has, or you know anyone who has seen La Femme Angela, they will tell you categorically that the last few scenes of La Femme Angela were not really it like that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really a big letdown. I wish it didn't happen that way. This film would have been like an A. Like 10 over 10, 10 over 10, 10 over 10. Shkina, 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 shkina. But hey, it's still such a great film. I'll see this film again and again and again. And I know why I'm saying that. Because, oh, they paid so much attention to details. The cinematography was Ah, God, what a film. <laughs> you need to see this film to know what I'm talking about. If you've seen La Femme Angela, let me know in the comment section. Let's just, let's talk about it. What do you think? What didn't you like? That's the only thing. The, the last few scenes, how, you know, the pro how those scenes progressed or what they were trying, the message they were trying to push in short. The last few scenes, I just don't understand. Other than that, this is, this is the film. La Femme Angela is the film. You need to see the film. Okay, <laughs> I have to go. So I'm going to be posting a couple of reviews this week. Yeah, up until the weekend. Because I've seen 
a load of can I say a load? Okay, so I've seen like a couple of Nigerian films that are currently showing the cinema, so I'll be dropping reviews after reviews, and the films are still dropping now. I saw this is enough films. Okay, guys, I need to go. I know I've been just in I've just in too much. So guys, I'll see you on my next one, which is going to be very, very soon. Bye.